the amaranth there, you see that one? Oh, that's, I don't know, 10 feet tall. It gives a big red uh, cone on it. You can see it on that smaller one. So, you know, look at the size of this. Look at the size of this flower. Those are the zinnias. God love them. Most incredible thing here. This is so cool. Look at this plant here. How the uh, morning glory has twisted itself around there. It's kind of pretty though. And they are so vibrant. That's the thing. Right with the sunflower. I don't know with this hyacinth bean. I'm not seeing any flowers. I don't really know. It's just huge. Oh, there is a little flower coming up there. I see it on the edges. But wow, it's really, it's really a, a, a tiger the way it takes off. And there's the little candy corn. It's sweet, but it's very slow growing, not in comparison to the others. And here's another tomato plant. Got some, got a nice one here for instance coming up. They haven't turned yet. In August, I'll have a lot of them. Here's some basil, beautiful basil, sage, and oregano. And I must come over on this side so you can see, look at this morning glory. I mean, excuse me, sunflower. Look at this sunflower. Isn't it the sweetest one? And it's got all these, sometimes they come up just singular. But this one's got uh, several flowers blooming off of its uh, stem. Look at that. It is just adorable. I've had them before and then squirrels got on top and just ate them away. But so far, I don't know what's going to happen here. What can you do? You can't fight nature. But anyway, I wanted to show you what's happened in the short two months since when I showed you all this in April. No, what am I saying? April. It, we didn't plant this till end of May because it was so cold. So cold. Yeah. Enjoy your gardens. Smell the flowers. <laughs>